My first experience of the Great Barrier Reef would have been 45 years ago. I can still remember what it was like jumping over the side of the boat and right in front of me there were fish everywhere. I just remember how amazing that was. I'm Cole McKenzie. I'm the Executive Director of the Association of Marine Park Tourism Operators. One of my key responsibilities is managing the Great Barrier Reef Crown of Thorns Control Program. Basically it's a starfish that has got a stack of spines on it like a porcupine. When they're in balance, they represent no problem whatsoever to the barrier reef. When they get out of balance, then we get millions of them and they can eat out a reef to almost zero live coral. First Crown of Thorns program started in 1999. What we've been doing for almost the last 18 years is we've been running a team of divers on a boat and they go out and inject the Crown of Thorns in the arm with a substance called bile salts and it makes the Crown of Thorns go into an allergic reaction and ultimately it kills it. Total numbers killed over all those years would be around about the 800,000 mark. I have no doubt whatsoever that it's a human interaction problem, whether it be water quality or whether it be overfishing. In combination with water currents and weather changes, we see this animal spawn three or four times a year and it doesn't take much of a change for that to become a, a plague and we have to do something about it. The concept at this point in time is to protect the key tourism sites and to protect the, the reefs with really magnificent biodiversity in the corals so that we've got seed populations to recolonise the reef between the infestations. Most of the people these days only see negative publicity. They don't hear how good it is and how inspiring it is to be able to jump in the water with all these animals. When you look at the, the size of the Great Barrier Reef, I mean, it's as big as Japan, and something happening in the north is not going to affect what happens in the south or vice versa. The reef itself is just a myriad of different uh, experiences. To jump over the side, you just never know what you're going to see. You get out of the water after having had those kind of things, and you almost got tears in your eyes. The Barrier Reef is still a magnificent environment if we can protect it and we have the capacity to do it.